When we talk about aliens, we talk about the search for extraterrestrial life, we kind of mean E.T., don't we? <laughs> we mean something that we can talk to. Right now, as we speak, there are telescopes searching the skies for signals, for hints, for a sign of civilizations, or even the signals from starships moving through the sky, you know, whatever it is, that we're looking for that. Every hour of every day, some among us scan the skies, listening for alien civilizations. They call themselves SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. This experiment has yet to detect a call from ET. But they live in hope, because SETI did once pick up a tantalising signal. On August the 15th, 1977, a radio telescope called a Big Ear detected a radio signal from somewhere in the vicinity of the constellation Sagittarius. And this is the printout from that night. You can see that somewhere around quarter past 10 Eastern Standard Time, a very bright radio signal pulsed in. It looks something like this. You can sketch it out. It was a, a pulse with a width of around 72 seconds. And the peak intensity, the peak brightness, was over 30 times the brightness of the, the background radio emission from the galaxy. So it's fascinating. And it came in on a wavelength that SETI believes an intelligent civilization might choose. The wavelength was 21 centimetres. That's the wavelength of light, of radio waves emitted from hydrogen atoms. So the whole sky glows at that wavelength. And back in the 1950s, radio astronomers speculated that if an alien civilization wanted to communicate with us, then they might well choose that very special, natural wavelength to send their message. So surprising was this, that when it was spotted a few days later, by an astronomer called Jerry Amon. He circled that pulse, a 72 second flash of radio waves and wrote wow next to it. So this has become known as the wow signal. Today, over 35 years after the WOW signal was detected, there's still no satisfactory explanation. It doesn't seem to have been local, a military signal or a satellite. And indeed, nobody's supposed to transmit at the hydrogen line frequency. It's reserved for radio astronomy. Since the WOW signal, we've heard nothing. We, we've searched in more detail with better telescopes, more systematically, by no means exhaustively, by the way. I think we could do much more. But we've searched and we've heard nothing. 